and doesn't like. This is a laptop. I use this laptop. I have these little filter plastics on top of it. It helps to diffuse some of the light, um, but I can only do so much. I can last maybe an hour, um, maybe an hour on this computer on a good day. So I can do okay. I think it might be an LED computer or an LCD computer. So, I mean, I do okay on it. I can't be on the computer for an extended period of time. Um, you know, if you work a nine to five job, you're on the computer for about that entire time or maybe seven, six and a half hours of that time you're on a computer. I used to do that. I can no longer do that. Um, I used to be a substitute teacher, but every school is lit with fluorescent lights can't do that anymore either so I had to stop working because of this severe light sensitivity so up here you see this light I believe there's a fluorescent light bulb in there because I never use this light so um, if I ever if I want light in this room I have to use this little lamp because it has um, an incandescent light bulb in it all right so let's get out of the study this is the house. This is the hallway here. Um, I don't live upstairs. I live downstairs. So upstairs is probably mostly fluorescent. Downstairs is, um, is where I've changed some things. Hi. I'm, I'm on periscopes. Okay, so this is my room. It's kind of messy. It's kind of gross right now, so... Um, so I've had to change the light bulbs out in my room. So let me turn on the light. Oh, it's dark in here. So those are incandescent light bulbs. There's three of them. Um, I've changed them out. They used to be fluorescent, and I can't deal with the fluorescent lights. So um, those are regular lights. And... On the days when I don't really feel like using those lights, I have a lamp. So, if I'm in the mood for something a little bit um, darker, then I use that lamp. And like I said, my room is a mess right now. Um, so that's my room. Oh, also, here's another interesting thing. Blackout panels. So, this is... I just got these new ones. I had some old ones that were falling apart. These are blackout panels. So I need these to sleep because I don't get good sleep. And if the room isn't pitch black, since I'm hypersensitive to the light, any little bit of light will wake me up. So I have the blackout panels and um, I think those are aluminum mini blinds. They're red. So that's what keeps, um, keeps the light out so that I can actually sleep. Because if I, um, I'm supposed to sleep as much as possible. Um, but any little bit of light is really a problem. Um, it'll wake me up. It won't hurt. Sunlight doesn't hurt as long as I have sunglasses outside. But it won't, um, it won't let me sleep. So this is the bathroom. Those lights are regular lights. And we have a window. Usually during the day, I won't turn on any lights. These lights are regular lights. I don't know if these hallway lights are regular, but I don't use that light. Um, these lights are also regular lights, and they, um, they're they dimmable. Usually if the lights are dimmable, they're fine. Um, huh? Oh, there you go. They're dimmable. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this is like a special effects light show. It's like, it's like going to Disneyland and watching the light show. So here we have the blinds and the blinds. I usually use regular lighting. Um, during the day, I won't turn on any of the lights. I just open the blinds. So here's where we have our biggest problem. This light is the worst light. It's a fluorescent light. If you can see the two tubes right there. Hi, Zylo. Welcome. These two lights are fluorescent lights, and then there's two over there. I'm not going to turn them on because they are the worst lights in the house and the most painful ones. So instead of using these lights in the kitchen, I use this light. And that's a regular incandescent light bulb. Hi, Zylo. So we had to switch out that light bulb so that I can sit in the kitchen. Okay. So 
I actually made a discovery when I moved back home that I can watch TV on this thing. This is an old, really, really old TV. It's lit with an incandescent light bulb inside. So old TVs have regular light bulbs inside. I can watch a little bit of TV. As you can see, it's really small. This is my hand. It's a really small TV, and I can actually watch um, a little bit of TV on that. Um, probably, at the most, a couple hours on a good day. So that works. So, And then out here we have the... Can I go out here? So this is the, um, the family room. This is a doggy. So these lights are also dimmable lights, so they're regular light bulbs. Any light bulb that can be dimmed is a regular light, and I'm fine. I'm fine with that. It's an incandescent light bulb. This is the problem here in this room. This is a flat screen TV. I believe it's LCD, so it's backlit with fluorescent lights. So if this TV is on, um, a lot of people tell me, you know, well, why don't you just sit sit over there on that couch? That couch is far away from the TV. I don't know if you guys can see how far away from the TV it is. I probably have to get over here in this corner. So this is the couch, and the TV is over there. Well, it's still a problem because the TV, it is pretty far. It's pretty far away, um, and I can't see the TV. If I sit on this couch, I cannot see the TV. But just because I can't see the TV does not mean that the light of the TV is not going to affect me. The light comes out of the TV and, you know, it's in the room. The light does fill the room and it still will bother me over time. So I can probably last maybe 45 minutes on a good day sitting on this couch with the TV on over here. So, yeah, it is. It's pretty, um, it can be pretty intense. Um, during Super Bowl Sunday, yeah, 45 minutes on a good day. During Super Bowl Sunday, I toughed it out, and I was in here for a while, but it eventually does give me a headache. This is the bar. That's the bar. It's probably a better view. And the bar does have, I think, one fluorescent light in there, but we don't really um, turn that on. So now let's go outside, and you're going to see the, the other issues that I have with, um, yeah, we've got a huge bar at home. This is a party house, or it was a party house. Um, so now we're outside. This is the backyard. I can't really see my phone very well. So. so this is the backyard. And you would think, hey, it's outside. You know, this is perfect. I can come outside and hang out. I'm doing laundry so you can see, like, my clothes and all my underwear out there. <laughs> but there is, there are some issues out here. I can be outside during the daytime, once it starts to get dark, then we have some issues. These lights, I don't think these lights agree with me. They look like regular lights. I don't really know what type of light that is, but I do think it bothers me. Um, when the sun goes down, these are motion sensing lights, and they turn on. This one for sure does bother me. So I think this is probably a fluorescent light. I can't really see it on the screen of my phone, but hopefully I'm getting it there. So, so nighttime, if I come outside and I walk past this light, it turns on, and that can be an issue. Um, sometimes during the summer, it's fun to go swimming at night, but if I swim too close to this corner, that light will turn on, and it's kind of annoying. So, so I can't really even be outside at night. And we'll talk about that. If I go to Starbucks later, um, I'll show you guys the issues outside. So now, here we have two massive fluorescent lights. So sometimes, you know, my family has uh, family parties and stuff here. And um, during the day, I'm fine. You know, we, come, we sit out here on this bench. Um, this is, that's a little, like, portable bar and then the barbecue here. You know, during the daytime, it's fine. We sit out here, we chit-chat. Once the sun goes down, these lights go on, and I have to go back inside the house. So that really kind of sucks. These are horrible. These are the worst, worst lights. These long tube lights are like the worst lights, the worst type of fluorescent light, because there's different types of fluorescent lights. So that's the issue out here. So you can just imagine 
all the different things I have to do to avoid the light. Um, the cheap ones, yeah, the cheap ones are the probably the worst ones. Um, these little lights in here, there's some little lights under this umbrella. I think these are also LED. But I think they're pretty tiny. I don't know. I think they're pretty harmless. Um, but I'm never out here at night, so I have no idea. I don't know what they, what they would be like. So that's a tour of the house. Um, I'm going to try to – I'm going to probably put on some more makeup. What do I use? I use incandescent light bulbs. Um, the replay is going to be up, so you can watch the replay. And it gives you all the details about my light sensitivity. Um, I did the hashtag save thing, so hopefully it'll save this um, scope. That way people can watch it whenever they need to. Because um, I get lots of questions about the light sensitivity. And it's just such a huge thing. Um, it's a huge thing for me. I just wish that I could tell people, hey, just go watch this video. That'll explain everything to you. Because it gets like so hard to just constantly have to be explaining to people like, this is the kind of light that bothers me. This is why it bothers me. So at least now there's a video up that will explain everything. So um, if you guys haven't checked out my YouCaring page, it's youcaring.com forward slash Marisol has Lyme. Uh, share it with everybody. Um, I'm accepting donations through the month of May to pay off medical bills. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, end this part of the broadcast and I'll probably come back. I'll, I'm going to try to go to Starbucks and show you guys what it's like to go out into the real world um, and have this type of light sensitivity. Um, because that's that's when it gets really, um, really tough. Okay, so I will see you guys in a little bit. You'll be charging your phone. Okay, okay, cool. I'll probably be back maybe maybe an hour because I still have to like get dressed. I'm wearing this like weird sweater thing, so I kind of look a little a little off. So I'll be back. Thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you in a little bit.